Pilot. <laughs> How many pilots has that been? Three? Four? Five. Five pilots so far? Who didn't write pilot on <laughs> My name's Meg Sullivan. I'm the executive artistic director of the Manton Avenue Project. At the Manton Avenue Project, our mission is to nurture the unique potential of young people that live in Olneyville by unleashing their creative voices and uniting them with professional artists to create original theater. Here you can express yourself and what I like about it is that there's no yes, no, like no wrong questions and I like to see in my imagination that it would come alive. Uh, what I enjoy the most about writing plays on Man Avenue is you get to express how you feel. It's not like there's any wrong or right answer. If you write something down, it's not like some, some people are going to judge you, oh, this doesn't make sense. You get to express how you feel and expand your imagination. I enjoy that we get to write whatever we really want to because uh, they don't really tell you what you have to write about. It's really your choice as long as, you go, as it goes with the theme. Yeah, so I get to use my imagination. So for this current class, it's, it's our tag team program, which is for our fifth through sixth grade um, students. And for this class, we, um, well, we've been meeting at our clubhouse after school for the past about eight weeks. We've also taken the kids on some pretty cool field trips to some local um, partner organizations. We took them to the steel yard to learn about metal arts and welding and jewelry making. And we took them to the Museum of Work and Culture to learn about the history of um, factory work and the Industrial Revolution here in Rhode Island. The Cogshell Museum came here to visit our clubhouse and we learned about what life would have been like on a farm pre Industrial Revolution, and they took all that information as a team, and they developed characters and thought about the um, backgrounds of those characters, what their hopes are, what their dreams are, what their fears are, what their needs are, and from those characters we developed a really incredible play that deals with um, immigrating from Canada, with um, friendship, with working conditions um, and fighting for human rights. The Manton Avenue have affected me in my own life because when I, when, like, when I just started, I was like really shy. I would barely talk, but now I talk more and more. Being part of Man, Man Avenue Project makes me feel good because all the time at school, people are like, oh, you're part of Man Avenue Project. I'm like, and yeah, I, I just feel, I feel proud of myself that I'm part of Man Avenue, the type of stuff we do. And Man Avenue is like a family to me, the type of stuff we do and other stuff. And whenever people ask me, I'm like, yeah, I'm part of Man Avenue, and I feel proud about it. So it's a pretty awesome play. It's pretty epic. And um, this particular program is unique because the kids write it collectively. They write it as a collaborative. So they each are responsible for one act in the longer play, which means um, we ended up with a 50-page play, and I'm so incredibly proud of them. Um, and it was a really, really fun process, a really fun learning process for all of us, I think. I believe the Manton Avenue Project impacts kids' lives in um, a variety of ways. I think that the daily and weekly practice, the regular practice of writing in itself is really beneficial for academics and for personal expression. I think that the um, practice of playwriting is a really specifically uh, magical tool for developing a young person's capacity for empathy and for critical thinking and for problem solving. These are all, you know, parts of youth development that are really important as a young person grows up and finds out who they are. And um, I think playwriting and theater can allow a young person to, um, you know, explore different sides of themselves, explore different identities, imagine themselves in um, the shoes of characters, whether it's a pencil or 
a building or a cat, um, you're able to, through playwriting, you're able to explore all those different sides of yourself and see yourself um, in another character. Our goal is to say, you know, you have the stage, this is your chance to tell us what you think about things, to show us what you know, to um, express what you want to express through playwriting. And, you know, also in the process, build your self-knowledge, build your confidence, build your resiliency to know that you can really face whatever challenges are ahead and that you have the tools you need to become a leader in your community. And that's really our, our goal. I was the shyest one here, and now I'm not shy. I, I, I don't know, I feel like I'm different now. This made me not feel shy, and now I can talk in front of like a thousand people if I can. Cause I used to like not talk and just like hold my fingers so shy, but then I don't know what happened and now I'm not shy. I don't care what other people say. So that's what I love about this also.